So let's make pizza with the dough from the last episode. So when making pizza at home, what we want to do is be as close as possible to what uh, you happen in a wood-burning oven. In a wood-burning oven, uh, the heat cooks the pizza three ways. First, there's conduction from the hot deck. There's convection from all that hot air moving around. And there's radiation from the flame, the flashover that's in the dome of the oven. Well, what can we do at home to approximate that? We're going to use a pizza stone. Here's a pizza stone uh, for the conduction part. And we're going to heat it up in the oven for at least an hour to make sure that it gets really hot. And in order to create maximum convection, so we want to set the oven temperature as high as you can. And we're going to use, if you have a convection mode in an oven, you want to use it. And finally, radiation. So for radiation, we're going to use broil. So we're going to have this on a rack about six inches from the top. And before we put the pizza in, we're going to switch the oven to broil. So let me get this set up, and I'll be right back. So the pizza stone's in the oven. The oven's heating up. But the dough also needs some time. So in the dough episode, I formed the balls. I took them out of the fridge. I broke it up. I made the balls. It needs to rest for an hour after it's been formed into a ball because this is going to allow it to relax a little bit and also reach room temperature so it will be easier to work with. I have it here sitting on the board. I'm just going to cover it with a damp cloth and I'm just going to let it sit there on the board for an hour while the oven's heating up. We'll be back. Well, here we are. The oven has heated up. I've switched it over to broil, and we're ready to make the caprese pizza. Caprese pizza with a twist, right? And so what I have here, first of all, is the, uh, this is a mix of 50-50 flour and um, cornmeal. And the reason is because we need something slidey. Yeah, ball bearings. Ball bearings. Here's the dough. We'll put the dough up. And we'll start to form it into the circle. And the way we do that is we use fingertips, right? And we use the fingertips to spread it out. But we don't go all the way to the edge, right? No, because that would, we don't, you want the edge to be able to puff. You want the edge to be able to puff. So I'm going to get close to the edge, but I didn't go all the way to the edge. And I'm starting to form my little circle. All right, now I've got that. And now we do the spready thing. Right? Stretchy spreading. And I'm trying to stay away from the edge and, and spread this out. And I can rotate it, right? right? Rotate it, spread it, rotate it, spread it, and leave that nice thick edge thing. And you got to be careful with this process. Where did we learn this? In Taormina. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'd always right. made, right, didn't I? Yes. I made pizzas before, but right. they always kind of came out bizarrely oblong, and I couldn't figure out mm -hmm. how to get them to be circular like a pizza is supposed to be. And finally, we learned the fingertip technique. So now we're going to spread this out. And, you know, the dough has um, eased up a little bit. And these are like almost like little pizzas. They're personal, almost personal, almost personal pizzas. Yeah. All right, keep stretching, stretching, and then I can pull it, I can do that. Again, I'm trying to just keep, keep from, uh, there we go. And keep that nice edge, and we got the nice circular pizza. All right, this is our adorable pizza. All right, a little more, a little more, a little more. Keep the edge. All right, that's it. That's about as much as you can stretch it. You don't want to overdo it. Right, there we go. Oh. Rotate, stretch, rotate, stretch. All right, now, I have here, this is kind of an interesting thing that I made. I made a, it's kind of a cross between a pistachio butter and a pistachio pesto. It, um, it's mostly pistachio, right. and the only, it only has a few other ingredients in it. It's got a little bit of garlic, it's got some olive oil, but doesn't have a lot of the other typical ingredients.
pieces of pesto. So I'm just going to take some of that. Now we're going to spread it on here as the base. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty tasty. You can just put this stuff on bread or make a, I don't know, pesto spread and jelly sandwich or something. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's really, you know, very close to a butter. Yeah. To a nut butter. I got to put some more in here. We got it out. Are we leaving the edge on the crust there? Yep. Okay, a little more in the center. Okay, we got that. Now, the next thing I'm going to put on it is burrata. So we got this nice burrata in the local market. And we're going to put some of that up. So I'm going to break this up. And that's another part of the base here. And we're going to just cover it, cover it with burrata. This is four ounces of burrata. Okay. And I'm just going to make, I mean, I'm going to put the whole thing here. Okay. Uh -huh. And then I've got some fresh tomato. And we're just going to put, it's like a little caprese, right? Mm -hmm. Put some. Fresh tomato here. Cover it completely. All right. And then we're going to drizzle some olive oil. Like that. Just a little. Drizzle some olive oil. Just like I'm making a caprese salad, except with pistachio stuff underneath it. Yeah. And then, right, some. This is, this is fleur de sel. I want to use a coarse salt. Just a coarse salt like that. Okay. And then we're going to hit it with some, a goodly amount of black pepper. Wow. Yes. We're not screwing That's around here. Goodly okay. amount of black pepper. All right. So this is now going to go into that oven. How long it takes is going to depend on your oven. But one thing is after a couple of minutes, you should rotate it. Do a yeah. 180 rotation in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go put this in and then we'll come back when it's done. All right, so I got it out now. Here it is. It's got like that nice crust on it, a little bit of those black things like you see when you come out of a wood-burning oven. I'm just going to throw some basil leaves on top. I don't want to cut them up or anything. I just want to throw them on top. Probably I could have. I probably could have gone a little closer to the edge, mm -hmm. right? And and instead of leaving that much of a crust on it, got all the stuff in the middle though that I intended to get there. Now we're going to give it a slice. Crunch, crunch. All right. Do that. A little crunch. We'll do it this way. All right. Why don't you, um, we will try some here. I will put some of this right on here, just like that. And I'll put on here, just like that. Crunchy. Try some of that crust. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say that I probably could have could have gone closer to the edge with this, made it a little bit bigger around. Um, but the mm. proof is in the taste, right? Yeah, and the crust is done. Yep. You can see it's all open in there, and it's nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. We like crunch, okay. And the flavor, I'm pretty simple, right? Okay. So we'll probably just spread this out along the crust a little bit to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's tasty. Yeah. And it's pizza. And it's pizza. All right. Well, there you go, folks. This is kind of a little caprese pizza with a little pistachio, which I think makes a big difference, yes. that little pistachio pesto sort of butter on the bottom. Yeah, it's a little nice base on it. Yeah. All right, folks, we're going to finish eating this, and we're going to see you next time.